Hello there, everybody. I'm Mel Allen, and this is Baseball Collection. Yo, and hello, everybody. Mike here, Baseball Collector. And today I'm doing part two of a two part series where I'm going through the autographs of my collection for all of the American League MVPs. I've been doing the, all the MVPs I did the National League last time. This time I'm going to do the American League. And oh my gosh, the American League is chock full of just amazing baseball players throughout the years. On this one, I am going to do as a quick recap. Prior to the MVP award essentially starting in 1922, there was a deal called the Chalmers Award, award, which was given away to kind of the best player in the league that was a committee of baseball writers voted on it. And that ran from 1911 to 1914. There was a gap, 1922 to 1928. The kind of precursor to the MVP award was given. And then the Baseball Writers MVP Award started in 1931. So I'll kind of talk through that as I go. But let's get started with this. Let's just start rolling because there are so many great players, so many cool autographs to look at. All right, so here we go with Mr. Mike Trout. He won last year. This is my only Mike Trout autograph in my collection. I've got uh, this one and only one, but he's won three times already. So you see that over on the left, and I'm sure he will win many more times throughout his career. But there's Mike Trout. In 2018, you had the newest Los Angeles Dodger win, and that was Mookie Betts, of course. Then we've got, going backwards, we're just going to go back in time here. Here is Cheater, Jose Altuve. And you had Mr. Josh Donaldson. And you had another multiple year winner right there. Mr. Miguel Cabrera, certain future Hall of Famer. I mean, good grief, he won a triple crown, right? We have our first pitcher MVP. Oh, well, it was Justin Verlander. It's still Justin Verlander. There's one of my Justin Verlander autographs. We've got a guy I have plenty of autographs of, Josh Hamilton. I literally just grabbed one. I didn't even think. I've got so many Josh Hamilton autographs. There's Hamilton. Lee, I'm having issues today. There's Joe Maurer. Hall of Famer, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Borderline for sure. Uh, then we got Dustin Pedroia. Nice Triple Threads Unity Relic Auto right there. Who's next? Uh, Three time winner. Alex Rodriguez. And if there is an MVP winner, uh, I'm going to try to have their, I, I try to get their autographs. If they played for the Rangers at any point in their career, I'm going to have them in a Rangers uniform if I can get them. And so there's A-Rod. And we had another twin, Justin Morneau. Hall of Famer Vlad Guerrero. Again, a Triple Threads Unity Relic autograph. And if a player won multiple times, again, I'm not going to show them multiple times. They'll just you'll just see all their the first time that they show up, they'll have all the years they won MVP. Here's Miguel Tejada.
His only MVP award, Ichiro Suzuki, was in 2001 when he also won the Rookie of the Year. There's that. And we've got Jason Giambi. Born in 2000. Now we're going into the 90s. First one of the 90s is one of my favorite players of all time. Plenty of autographs to show of his. I just grabbed this one. Ivan Rodriguez. So he won in 99. And then a guy that I used to super collect big time. So I still have a few of his autographs, even though I sold off most of the collection, is Juan Gonzalez. And I just love... The 98 Donra Signature Series autographs. This is the preview version, which is very rare. I think there were only 108 of these made. Because you've got the reds, the greens, the blues, which are century marks, and just lots of really cool stuff. There's Juan Gonzalez, two-time winner. Then here's Griffey. Tim Griffey. Probably should have won way more MVPs than he did. In fact, this is the only one he did won, was uh, 1997. And we've got Mr. Mo Vaughn. Next up, another back-to-back -back winner. Frank Thomas, Hall of Famer. Seems like in the American League, pitchers won less M have won less MVPs over the years. But Dennis Eckersley won back in 1992. We got Cal Ripken. Won twice. 83 and 91. Greatest leadoff hitter of all time, Ricky Henderson. It's a really cool five-star autograph of him. Got to do some maneuvering here, get some stuff arranged where I can take these off and put them up easier. Next up, Robin Yount. I don't think Robin Yount should have won in 1989. I think Ruben Sierra got robbed on that year, but that's okay. They didn't let me vote. But the year this guy won, he definitely deserved it. Jose Canseco, 1988. George Bell. I think George Bell was the first Blue Jay to win the MVP award. This guy won a ton of Cy Youngs, and he also won one MVP award, and that's Roger Clemens. And this nice 1992 Ultra. Dandy Don Mattingly. And probably the weirdest, most perplexing MVP award I think I've ever seen is Willie Hernandez. This is showing him with the Phillies, but I think he won it with the Tigers in 1984 when they won the World Series. And I mean, he had a great year, but I don't know. Weird. Weird MVP choice there. Next up on my list, Raleigh Fingers, who won in 81 with the Brewers, I believe. We've got George Brett. 1980, great season for him. I think he hit 390 that year. Got 
Definitely a Hall of Very Good player here, Don Baylor. Probably not a Hall of Famer, but definitely a Hall of Very Good. Next up, there's a Jim Rice. Rod Carew. So then I have every so I have every Hall of Famer up to 76 down, you know, Rod Carew 77. I'm missing Thurman Munson. Very, very expensive autograph because he died so young. So I do not have a Thurman Munson autograph. I do have a Fred Lynn. Jeff Burroughs, Jeff Burroughs, first Texas Ranger ever to win the MVP award in 74. Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. Just love that card. There's a guy I think will get in the Hall of Fame someday. Mr. Dick Allen, Richie Allen. Another guy who wouldn't surprise me if he got in the Hall of Fame someday, Vita Blue. Next up is Boog Powell, and I have a Boog Powell autograph again somewhere. He's one of the, there's two guys I can't find their autograph for some reason. They're hidden away somewhere. And Boog Powell's one of them. I'll tell you the other one in a minute. Because it'll be literally just a minute. There's a... Uh, I don't have any problem finding any Harmon Killebrew autographs. Because i got a ton of them. There's a 71 Tops Killebrew. So in 68... Uh, let me pull this off. In uh, 68, Denny McLean won. He was with this other pitcher. As I mentioned last time. 1968... The MVP awards were given to pitchers in both leagues, which is the only time that uh, happened really in the modern era when you had Bob Gibson win in the NL and Denny McLean win in the American League after winning like 31 games or whatever he won. But I can't find my Denny McLean autograph, so I know it's somewhere. Then we've got Carl Yastrzemski. Yes. If you watched the NL video you saw this card because this is the only guy that's won the MVP in both leagues and that's Frank Robinson 66 was his uh, triple crown year I don't have Zolio Verset Versalis I don't know how to say that very well but I do have a Brooks Robinson right there plenty of Brooks Robinson on the grass Next guy I'm missing as well, and that's Elston Howard, catcher for the Yankees. The Yankees just start dominating the MVP award as we go forward. It's like uh, like they just had a stranglehold on it. The guy that won a few of them is Mickey Mantle. Then I am missing Roger Maris, who won back to back in 60 and 61. Then this is my uh, Nelly Fox autograph. Let me see if it'll sit there. How good that looks. I told you if I can find, this is the only picture I've ever seen of Nelly Fox in a Rangers uniform, and it's autographed, and so I, I had to get it. Uh, absolutely. He was a coach for the Rangers in the early 70s. And uh, just love it. So that's my only Nelly Fox autograph, too. Like, he's he's tough. He's expensive. So there's that one. Where are we at? All right, I'm missing the 58 MVP, which is Jackie Jensen. And we've got Yogi Berra. Another 
back-to-back -back winner. He actually won three total in his career. Al Rosen with the Cleveland Indians. There's Bobby Shantz who is still alive and like 90 something years old and still doing TTMs. And so if you want to get an old time MVP award winner, he's your guy. We had 1950, Phil Rizzuto closing out the fifties. We got Ted Williams. Ted won two MVPs, but man, I bet he could have really won about five. He had a really bad relationship with the media at the time and really throughout his whole career and just, you know, soured him on voting for him on M for MVP. I mean, in 1941, he lost the MVP to Joe DiMaggio, which, look, Joe DiMaggio had a 56-game hitting streak. He was amazing, but Ted Williams hit 406. I mean, it... it Really, really tough. I would not have wanted to be a Hall, uh, MVP voter that year, but Ted Williams. And we've got Lou Bedrew. Speaking of Joe DiMaggio, here he is. And here's the card. This is a pack pulled thing from 1992 score. An autograph actually on the back. I got plenty of DiMaggio's to show. I just thought that I think this one's cool. So that's the one I grabbed. And we had during the war years, uh, World War II, Hal Neuhauser won two back-to-back -back MVPs as a pitcher, only pitcher to ever win back-to-back -back MVPs and uh, did it for the Tigers. And made the Hall of Fame. This is one I showed recently in a mail day because I just got it. And it's Spud Chandler on a 3x5 card. This is my only autograph of the next guy. And this is this really weird uh, custom thing that somebody made. I'm just glad to have it. And that's Joe Gordon. Next up is Hammer and Hank Greenberg. Great card there. I love those Hall of Fame heroes. Dick Perez. Who's going to be on my show Sunday night? So check it out. Beyond Cardboard. Next up, another three-time winner, and that's Jimmy Fox. He won back-to-back -back in 1932 and 33. Last stack, guys. Charlie Geringer. All right, here we go. Some really big ones starting to come up now. Uh, here's the first one. I don't have a lot of words to say on this one. Lou Gehrig, who won twice, 1936, 1927. So he's, uh, his signature's right there. There's another very tough Hall of Famer, Tony Lazari, on this piece. Multi-signed piece. I still need to get a Gehrig solo piece, but just so expensive. I'm pretty content with what I have right now. And we got the great oh, Mickey Cochran. He also won two MVPs. I'm missing George... Uh, well, he's not next. Hold on. I'll tell you about him in a second. 
Here is, uh, before I do that, let's look at Lou or Lefty Grove. Another pitcher. And you got Mickey Cochran, Lou Gehrig, and George Burns is another player I'm missing. He won in 1926. 25, you had a, you got a little Washington Senators run. There's Roger Peckinpah. Not an easy auto to get. Uh, here's another pretty great one. Get that on stand up there. Walter Johnson, two time winner. Love his autograph. So back in the 20s when the award first started, the MVP award, before it became what it is now, a player could only win once. And that's why this guy only won one MVP award in 1923. He probably should have won six or seven over his career. But uh, there's my Babe Ruth autograph. I absolutely love it. I can just sit there for a second. All right, babe, move on. You only won one MVP. Come on, let's go. Next up, George Sisler, who was the first winner of kind of the, what became what known as the MVP award in the 20s. This was 1922. So there's George Sisler. And then we kind of skip back to that uh, Chalmers award. Like I was talking, there's four winners in the American League. And I happen to have all four. One of them I've already shown you, I'll tell you in a second, but the first one to show off here, I'll do it that like that, is Eddie Collins. Very, very tough auto to get. Love it. It's Eddie Collins. From 1939. Jeez. Then you have Walter Johnson won it in 13. And this guy won it. Ah, that glare is terrible. There we go. Tris Speaker, 1912. And one more, guys. And that is this guy right here. And I'm just going to put it where it kind of covers the whole screen. I won't even put his name up there. It's Tyrus Raymond Cobb. Ty Cobb won the first Chalmers Award in 1911. So there you go, man. Let me scoot this, get it more centered up. So here's my Ty Cobb check. I've had that for years and love it. Great piece to my collection. So there it is, guys. All of the American League Most Valuable Player Award winners. Hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you stuck with it. If you did, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, everybody have a great rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon. Keep collecting.